one thing about going heavy on leg day by yourself. You gotta re-rack all the weight. Now it's time to work. Time to work. Time to dig deep now. So I just talk shit in my head and go in a dark place, think negative things people say to me, and I just use that for fuel. Leg day is pretty like a very high volume day for me. I go heavy and I'm still increasing the weight. So, yep, just, my whole goal is to put as much blood as possible into the muscle that I'm working with. But um, I might start with leg extension. I do about two, three uh, sets just to get the blood flowing in my kneecaps because I have bad knees, so I have to warm them up. So um, we did three to four sets of warm up. I think we did between four to five working sets. Start off with the full stack. Once I actually did the full stack twice, I actually did a drop set. I did like a four drop. This is how I train, period. High volume throughout my whole entire workout. No matter how heavy I'm going. As you guys see, I'm going up the way every time. And I'm making sure I'm getting at least about 15 reps. At least try to get 15 reps. Don't let press. Uh, I'm just fucking work out. You'll see. We're gonna keep the stance neutral, just normal. Shoulder to width. As much blood as possible in the quads. I'm gonna shoot for like 15, 20 reps. I'm just gonna keep going up from there. The leg press after leg extension. I did leg press. We did a uh, regular stance, shoulder width. Um, went pretty heavy on that one. Um, a lot of volume. Uh, a lot of my workouts I do when I train, I like to go up and I also like to go back down. If you want to focus more on your hamstrings for people that are not familiar, you can go wide or you can come up a little bit higher. Push off with your heels, you can feel more hamstrings. But if you're really definitely trying to focus on that quad sweep, which I'm always about that, I like to make a V stance. So you're here. And when you're coming down, you're hitting all that quad sweep. Nothing but quad. Never lock your knees. Never lock your knees. I see a lot of guys come up. When they stand up, they lock in their knees. Never lock your knees. Now it's time to work. Time to work. Time to dig deep now. Oh. 
Go. That's the one we're stretching. What I learned. Oh, uh, yep. What I learned from Flex. He used to make me um, in between my sets. When I prepping him for the Arnold, he used to make me just bend down. Obviously, I am stretching my quads, but that's allowing enough blood flow to go through him too as well. Just make the pump a lot massive. So right now, my legs are on fire right now, sitting in this position. Oh. So we're gonna start off with some reverse hack, facing the opposite way. I generally like these. I don't feel them in my back. I feel them right where I need them at is in my quad. So on my leg days is pretty much my high carb day. So actually I'm about to get a burger and fries after this. High carb day, eat a lot of food. A lot, a lot of food on my home leg days. Actually, my, this is usually my days that I'm like super hungry. But even the day after my high carb day, I'm even more hungry. My metabolism is just on fire. So um, these days like this is very beneficial on prep because that helps me reach that new low weight for the next check-in. So I was 206 this morning for my check-in. So next week, if I had to be realistic, I may be 205 to 204. So with this high carb day spike and everything, it's just gonna have my, my body just on firing going into the week. I just think, I see some people with good legs, they just don't train them hard enough. I guess when you have like a genetic blessed part on your body, you don't have to train them hard, but nah. I know I got really good genetics, but I trained everything like it's weak. 25, burger on you. Yo, 25. Burger on you. All right, you got it. You got 25, burger on me. Let's go. Oh. Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh, we're right going you, motherfucker. Ah. Wow. That was an A plus. We're gonna do a single leg. I always do a, a, some type of unilateral movement and um, a together movement. So uh, I started with leg extension together. Now we're gonna do single leg. That's my favorite one, honestly, because I just feel like I get a better contraction doing single leg because you're focused on that one quad. Do a drop set now. So do a strip set. As many as I can, just strip it down each leg. Ah, come on. Ended off with do sissy squat. Started with the 45 pound plate, did 12 to 15 reps, and did 10 without it. And that was my whole entire workout. muscle and strength that was the leg day the prodigy leg day hope you guys like it hope you can take something from it and learn from it you know if you do this workout tag me on instagram at keon underscore prodigy and i hope you guys like this video like comment subscribe